this. Oh, okay, guys, so this is a uh, part two of a three-part series. The first one I showed you in Xactimate how you can separate all your steep charges in Xactimate. Now, uh, you won't be able to know how to do this until you read Excel because what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a macro, okay, uh, on how to do this. Not on how to do it, but how to do this. And then you're going to have to create a macro for Word. So let me show you first on Excel. Okay, so, um, you know, so what you would do, let me close this. Okay, so you would have a sketch. You would export the, the macro. Okay, so let me show you how to do that again. So you export roof annotations. You name it whatever you want. And you have a, a document uh, in, in, in your uh, um, desktop, right? So let me let me close all this because this I just got through showing you the first one. So... I want to start from scratch. Okay, so I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to open up that Excel file that Xactimate um, exported. Now, so this is what you would have to do. <clears throat> I, I have an Excel file that I use. Okay, and you can name it whatever you want. So, so this is the annotations. Ex, uh, exported from Xactimate. They will always look like this. You're going to select everything. You're going to hit Control C. You're going to paste it in. Oops. Control C, and you're going to paste it into that document that you create that's going to have that uh, uh, macro. Now, so when you paste it in there, you just hit a button, or you're going to go into your developers and uh, run that macro so I'm just gonna I have a button so I'm gonna click on it and look what it did uh, it stripped out these two lines this line I told it to make it all SQ just the words SQ here I wanted the plus sign and here it, it put everything in order you see okay so let me show you how to do that macro okay so Okay, so once you start recording a macro, you've got to know what you're going to do. You need to know the steps because uh, you're recording every step you do. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so I'm going to select everything first. Okay, so <clears throat> you should have developer on your uh, this uh, drop-down menus here. If you don't, then that's another course you're going to have to learn how to do because uh, I think I think you have to uh, bring this into your Xactimate, but, uh, Excel. So here we go. Watch this. You go to developer. You click on record macro. And what I'm going to name this, uh, I'm going to put delete this macro. You can't put spaces in between this lines here now you can put a description and put uh, or, or actually you, you can type whatever it's going to be it's a uh, uh, separate uh well no, here let me see what well, we're just going to put uh excel macro exactamente and you know what it is for okay or uh, whatever you want to name it and i'm putting it on this workbook so I'm going to hit OK. Now, uh, now it's, it's already recording. So everything you do, it's going to remember for the next file. So the first thing you want to do is go data. And you want to sort. You want to sort by slope. Hit OK. Now it put everything in order here, right? The next thing you want to do is you want to delete those. So you, you select them and you hit delete. Here. I want the machine to put SQ in every one of those uh, cells. So I put SQ, go to the right, all, go all the way down, and duplicate it. Okay, same thing here. 
uh, here I want it to be a plus sign so I'm gonna hit shift plus enter if you don't hit the enter it's gonna give you some weird results so again click on the bottom right head corner go down and it duplicates it okay now at this point you would probably want to start recording okay so uh, so go uh, to developer start recording and then so <clears throat> at the end when you save this file make sure you save it as a, a recorded macro okay so let's go ahead and do that before we get out of before it gets out of hand so we're going to go file save as you see right here you want this to say excel macro embedded worksheet so you click on that you hit save and now uh you're going to have two different files you see this is the, the the first one we had now this one is saved with xlms instead of csv <clears throat> okay so uh, i'm going to save this now watch this um I'm going to delete this and let's see if that worked. So let's delete everything. We're going to go to the original. Okay. And let's select it again. Control C. We're going to go to this uh, Excel file we just created. We're going to hit Control V and we're going to go to Developer, Macros. We named it delete this macro and you hit run it worked you see that's now every time you want to use that macro you open up this document copy and paste it okay so now the next thing i do um <clears throat> i separate these things so um you know on mine let me show you what i have on mine okay so you see these three things right here? Control C, Control V. I'm just gonna put them right in the middle somewhere. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm gonna you can name it any way you want. Okay, so first of all, I want to separate my uh seven to nine pitch. Okay, so we're gonna insert. Then the next ones that we need to is from 10 to uh, 10 to 12 pitch. So we put a, a blank space line in there. And then we go 10 to 12, and then anything greater than 12 would be right here. We hit insert. Okay. And so from here, I would hit, I would cut that, paste it in there. I would cut that, paste it in there. I would cut that and paste it in there. Okay. So this file is ready now. Now what I want you to do is save this thing, okay? Now I want you to open up my other um, YouTube video, and that other YouTube video will say "Estimating a Steep Roof Number Three Work." Okay, I'll see you there.